current member of the San Diego Padres organization. First of all, great to see you. Peter Seafrone, how you doing, my friend? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. It's great to see you. It's a baseball time of the year. It's your time to go about your business and chase your dream, and you're still doing that, but also a recent experience, World Baseball Classic representing Italy, and tell me about that. What kind of unique experience was that? Oh, it was, it was a great experience, you know. Uh, I, I didn't really know what to expect, but uh, the first time I put that jersey on, it was, it was, a, it was a different feeling, you know. It was uh, made me think of my family, and it was just a, a, special, uh, a special thing for me to be a part of, and I'm, I was glad I was a part of it. You talk about your family, trace back the lineage. Uh, who has uh, Italian roots and the chance to give you that opportunity to play for Italy? Uh, my grandparents were both born there. So uh, that, that's, uh, you know, going through the whole process and all, I had to get my birth certificates for them, and, and, and that's how I got cleared to play for that. So, Who'd you hang out with on that World Baseball Classic team? Because I understand there were a few players from your neighborhood, a guy that went to your high school, and share those stories. Yeah, well, uh, Frank Catalanato was on the team, who's a very good buddy, buddy of mine, I went to the same high school. I worked out with him in the offseason. And then another guy, B.J. Lemire, he actually went to a rival high school that uh, we played growing up. So it was kind of a little Long Island connection in the WBC. So it was, uh, we had a special article done for us uh, back home. So it was, it, was, uh, it was a great experience to be with those guys in the WBC. I know there were favorites in that tournament, and Italy may not have been considered there at the top, but I know I talked to you before the tournament, and you said it's baseball. you got to go out and play and do the little things. And what did Team Italy learn from that experience against the world's best? Oh, I mean, I, like you said, you know, anyone can win in, in the game of baseball. You know, you have, you have some good pitching, good defense, and you put up a couple runs, you know, anyone can win. I think uh, we definitely showed that, you know, people from, guys from Italy can play, you know. Uh, we, played the, we played Venezuela, who obviously went pretty far, and we, I think we played some good games against them. We beat Canada, who was, you know, who could have won that, you know, that bracket. So uh, I think we came out showing that, you know, in, uh, baseball in Italy, you know, is, is worth something to watch. It's nice when you have family and friends and you had that experience where you had the brothers and people from your hometown and high school buddies. Yeah. When they're a part of that experience, it makes it all the more sweeter. Tell me about that. Oh, it was great. You know, I had my brothers come up there and a bunch of buddies come. So it was just great to see them in the stands and, and, and have them be a part of it. It was awesome. We'll talk 2009 Padres baseball in a moment, but take me back to your time with the Lake Elsinore Storm. I know for a player, you continually are on the move, whether it's high school, then to college, college to the pros, and once you're at professional baseball, you want to get to the highest level, but you appreciate the stops along the way, and what do you appreciate from your time in Lake Elsinore? Oh, I mean, I was just talking about it yesterday, talking about the storm, and the storm was a special part of, uh, you know, my, my coming up in, in the Padres system. It was definitely probably one of the most best times I've had in the, in the system, so uh, good people over there, and uh, I wish them all the best. Here we are at Petco Park prior to opening day, but San Diego's Petco Park, that's where you want to end up. This is a destination stop for you. Tell me about 2009, what you're hoping for, and how healthy are you? Well, first, I just want to come off and, and have a healthy season. You know, if, I, if I'm not healthy, I can't perform on the field. So, uh, you know, I just want to keep my body strong, my arms strong, and, and, and go out and, and have a good season. You know, hopefully put up better numbers than I did last year and, and hopefully make it up here. You know, it was a great experience being out here the last couple of days, see a little bit of the big league life, you know, get, get me uh, a part of that. So I, when I come up here, you know, this year, hopefully that, you know, I'm not shell-shocked. So I was just happy to be up here. And, and when I get up here, I'm, I'm just going to make the best out of it. Storm fans may, may remember a smooth swing and your production, home runs and RBIs, but DHing and playing some outfield. But these days, you may be asked to do some different things. You may, be need, you may need to be a utility guy, yeah. play a little second, play some third, play some outfield. Is that where you see yourself at the highest level? I think, you know, to, to get me up here, that's what I'm going to have to do. I was actually just saying goodbye to Buddy, and uh, he stopped me, and he said, uh, play everywhere. He goes, I want you practicing third, first, outfield, you know, because I think for me to get up here, I'm, that's what I'm going to have to do. You know, I'm going to have to be that left hand to hit her off the bench and, you know, uh, perform in that way and then, uh, you know, get up here and hopefully get some regular bats. Can I ask you one other thing? Who's your favorite broadcaster in the minor leagues of all time? Of all time, Sean McCall, without a doubt. <laughs> I want to tell you, you'll be awarded with some sort of storm eyes or a, a gift <laughs> along the way. But you start off at AAA Portland. You've been there before. And then hopefully uh, it's stomping grounds here at Petco Park. But from the Storm family, may we say good luck to you. Play well, be healthy, and uh, we appreciate your time. Thank you very much, Storm family. I love you.